What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Hype Report. Uh, today, I'm with a very special guest, someone very big in the fashion space, fashion TikTok. Um, he's told me I cannot give out his government name. Uh, so I welcome to you, Five Foot. What's good, bro? Hello, how are you? I'm good, good. man. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's someone, you know, I've wanted you to have come on for a long time, bro. I appreciate it. I'm excited to be here. The set is great as well. The set, bro, everyone always says that, man. The fellas are fucking amazing. They've killed it, bro. The set, cool. is, set is very, very sexy. How's uh, How's life? Life is good. Yeah. Life is good, thanks. Yeah. What uh what, what have you been up to? How uh, tell tell the people a little bit. Well, I mean most people probably know who you are here, but tell the people who don't what you do, who you are, what you're about. I am a man who gets dressed in the morning, <laughs> films it, and puts it on the internet. I basically just anything fashion related, really. That's literally me. TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, I feel I feel I feel like um it's nice actually because although we the the, the broad space we're very we're, like, we're, in, we're in the same space, but we also do very very different stuff. Yeah, which I really sure. quite like. I think it's quite sick. So usually I'm not too competitive, but obviously with someone like yourself, I usually watch your content and it's like it doesn't like not like it would be an issue if it did touch mine, but like like it's just I just enjoy it. You know, and I look at it, it's like, ah, oh, cool. I appreciate that. Cool. I do the same. As a yeah, but we're so what I'm saying is like this content is so different. Yeah, 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 for sure. I feel like yours is very like um you know it's gonna go viral. Yeah. Whereas when I post mine, I'm like, oh, it could go viral, but it probably won't go viral. Well, but yeah. I feel like you know what you're doing a bit more in terms of that, but yeah, I, I, but, but it, I, I think, I think there's a bit of a misconception there of like, like if you're what you're doing is never going to get all, well, it won't always guarantee the viewership, right? But what it does guarantee is the 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 niche and people always coming back, and that's yeah. often more valuable to brands as opposed to maybe some of the stuff I do. Um, so yeah, man, you're killing it. That bro. is true, actually. No, 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 killing it, I killing it. it and you know your niche, which is sick. A lot of creators. Uh, I, I I went through when I was like two three hundred k. I was kind of like wobbled a little bit, and I went on a couple of different like paths in terms of like what fashion content I was creating or content in general. I remember I made this like terrible John Cena meme video once, which is just fucking random. <laughs> I think I've seen that, you know. <laughs> and it was so bad. It was so bad. Oh mate, it was the one that was awful. And uh, and then I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, bro, what are you doing, man? This isn't you. So yeah, but I think everyone has to go through that. I think, yeah, I think for I'm sure. Still, I'm kind of going through that now. It's sort of like every day I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I need to start doing this. Or no, I need to make this kind of content. Yeah, but at the yeah, end of the yeah. day, like you just have to make what you enjoy making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. never gonna. People are gonna know you're not enjoying it. You know. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I think I think if people want to know about style and like dre like actual like aesthetic and shit like that, like they 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 go to you. Nah, no, nah, no, they, they don't. <laughs> you think they do? No. <laughs> nah. Well, I, I I like to think I can dress to a level. Right. But I think um my fashion and style is it is very like trend based like i'm not gonna sit here and say i've got really like original style yeah but i think for people who are sort of just getting into fashion or maybe like at a decent level of fashion like my content probably is really appealing yeah but to those guys who have that really sort of elevated style the more mature fashion you yeah, can say, yeah yeah you know, yeah like yeah, the elevated yeah stuff i feel like that's when they're going oh this guy's cringe yeah like, it sucks I'm, I'm going somewhere else like why is he not wearing loafers every day it's like yeah Whoa, yeah relax, yeah bro. <laughs> yeah i get that i get that. no i think i think I th uh, yeah i think i'm i'm probably like super like entry like mm. mainstream entry it was what yeah. i want i, wa I want to be like the first guy like uh if you're like first getting into like shoes or fashion and people be like who, who might have any pre-existing idea of like oh, you're 100% you're that guy that's what I want to be that's yeah. exactly what I want to be like the first guy on the app where you open you're like someone's like alright I need to learn more about fashion let me yeah, go on TikTok like, but like, like baseline force. and foundation shit I don't I don't want to be telling people about how to dress super well because like, mm. that's, that's not me anyway but I think that's what you do really well thank you maybe like the next stage the kind of it was kind of like the gateway do you know what it is and I also feel like I'm I'll get to that point, but it's almost like people can sort of follow me there and elevate at the same yeah, time in a way. Sure. And I, I, I do get quite a lot of messages of people are like, oh, you've changed my style and I've liked seeing your style evolve. And that's it. I'm like looking forward to seeing where, what happens next. And it's like, that's great. But like, yeah. at the same time, I am just, I am usually just following trends. So don't give me any credit. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I saw the fit I'm wearing most days on Pinterest the night before. So yeah but so is that is that where you get most <laughs> most your inspo from no nah, it's actually not to be fair i open it like twice a month okay, first, first. <laughs> but I, a lot of like a lot of days i wake up and i and i really won't know what to wear to that day so i'll either call a friend and say pick a random item for me to build a fit around or i'll just go i'll, just, I'll see a fit on instagram that morning I'll be yeah, like, yeah. i'm gonna do something like that today because when it's raining i actually get excited because it means i have less options to pick from and then i get less flustered in the morning because yeah have too, sometimes you have too much option you know it's like when it's raining i gotta wear a rain jacket yeah so it's great but yeah, I get that's, that. that's usually like the thought process 
Yeah, I think, bro, I, I sometimes fucking hate getting ready these days, man. I hate it because I'm like, I'm like, because I never used to be that conscious about what I wore. I used to do it and I literally did, did not care. And now I feel like I've got a bit more responsibility to look acceptable. And it's co- it's hard, bro. I'm going to lie, it's hard. Bro, I, I don't even want to say this, but I, I do kind of not, comp- I absolutely love the fact that I feel like I have to wear a different fit every single day. Yeah. And... It's probably, I used to wear the same fit every day and used to love it. But now I, I genuinely don't think I've worn the same fit every day because I'm like, I need to get new content. I have to be wearing new yeah, stuff. Yeah, it is a job All now. of this. Yeah, it is yeah. a job, right? And like, people always come in and like, oh, the, the consumption is crazy. And I'm like, it is. But at the same time, it's like, it kind it is the job, you know? How, how much do you spend on clothes a month? Because you have fucking a lot of clothes. Oh, probably probably about 10 grand. T- 10K? Yeah, probably. 10K a month? Yeah, probably about 10K a month. Fuck. Last month was eight and a half, but that is, it's January, you know? <laughs> it's bad, it is bad. Don't do that. Do not Fucking do that. hell. And what do you do? At, geez, bro, that's insane. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I wasn't expecting it to be that high. Yeah, no, it's mad. And it's like, I'm not too, obviously, you know, I'm saving money, but I'm still young. I'm not too... Yeah, yeah, bothered yeah. about too many saving and loads shit. and it's yeah, just yeah. like I'd actually rather have it sitting in my wardrobe as an mm. item because I can't spend that you know whereas if it's sitting in my bank account it's like ooh maybe it's a little, so I guess else. some pieces are a little bit depending how you buy them some pieces can be an investment a lot of, I, I'm kind of getting to a stage now where it's like I'm buying very plain things not stuff that's overly branded and it's just like this can be in my wardrobe for 10 years so yeah. I'm trying to build like a bit of a capsule wardrobe um, Dad, bro, I wasn't expecting to be that high. Yeah, no, it's bad. It is bad. Uh, my mom's gonna watch this and freak out. I'm sorry, because <laughs> <laughs> I told I told her it's like completely different. But yeah, it's quite a lot. Wow, that, that is like it's my it's my hobby though, you know. And it's yeah, like, that's that's the well, main. It's your life, bro. It's your bread yeah. and butter at the end of the day. Yeah, I do need to slow down though. You know, I, I do have to add though. I do I do sell a lot of stuff. You know, I won't promo my selling platform, but <laughs> I do sell a lot of stuff. Um, and a lot of stuff like get gifted as well. So yeah, that, that yeah, just yeah, adds, yeah, that's yeah. just even worse. Like I do need to stop. Yeah, yeah. the gift gifting stuff sick though. How was it when you first I uh, we spoke briefly off camera about first getting gifted stuff? That must have been a good feeling. I never ever shit. ever thought it was ever gonna happen. Really? Because obviously I just, I just started my TikTok as a hobby, like to show off my shoe collection, and then one video went kind of viral and it's like, oh my god. Um and then yeah, I I I can't exactly remember the exact first item I got gifted, right? But the first shoe was a Mizuno, which is from Heart Copy. You know the Heart Copy yeah, boys? Yeah. They sent me like this Mizuno, and I'm not going to lie to you, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I'm never going to say no to when I've never had anything gifted before. So yeah. I get this Mizuno, and I was like, oh my, I can't believe this. But now it's like 90% of brands I'm having to say, like, I'm sorry, like, I just can't because I know I'm not going to wear it. And if I'm not going to wear it, one, I don't want you to send me something that I know I can't promote. And two, like, I'd rather you give it to someone who's actually going to wear it because I just yeah. know I'm going to put it in a box and it just feels like a waste for them. It's bad for the environment and it's just, do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. I feel, I feel I, bad. You want to help everyone out, especially smaller 100%. brands. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't. Yeah, I, I started a series on my second account where I was like um, doing like, a out, like what was it? It was like a supporting small brand oh, series, class. which was yeah. really good. It's a great idea on paper, but the reality is too many, not too many brands send it in because it's like everyone wants to be on the series. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. it is a good platform for some small brands who don't have much budget to get on Mm -hmm. and now at home i'm so many episodes behind i haven't opened any of the shit it's just piled up so over the next year i've got to get through all of that and obviously i can't meet the demand so sometimes but their drop might be gone by the time i can cover it yeah so it's not the best for business all the time why do you take so long to do it and they're getting all like and it's like well you know yeah it it is hard so there's even when there's something that i really like and it's like I, I really want to say yes, but then, you know, you just can't, you can't say, I've got like 12 boxes in my lounge, just full to the brim of clothes that yeah. I don't even know what to do with. Um, but when I, when I, you know, when I can help out, I, I do, you know, like, especially like promoting it for free. It's like, when, I, if, if yeah, I really like quite it. A lot. You do quite a lot of stuff I, from, from what I can see from your main yeah. page. If I like it, I will, I will promote it like for nothing, you know, yeah. because, because I like it and you've sent me it for free anyway. So I'm getting something out of it as well. Cool. But, there's just this is a lot it's overwhelming sometimes you know like, yeah it's a very good problem to have don't get me wrong it's, it's i'm not complaining yeah um but yeah you can't just can't please everyone you know nah for sure man for sure right let's talk about let's talk about what, what do you love about fashion at the moment what do you love and hate about streetwear at the moment in the uk especially man and like the the, the not just tiktok but like the social media space because obviously i know you spoke Ooh. you spoke you cover a lot of trend in fashion i i'll start with what i love um Oh, that's a hard question. Actually, I'll start with what I don't like. 
Um, that I feel like there's a lot of toxicity within, especially like social media fashion. Mm. There's a lot like, I don't want to go too into it, obviously, but I feel like, especially with sort of me and my friendship group, you know, you got like ants, well, me more specifically me and ants. I feel like a lot of people say, oh, who are, who are these guys? I don't deserve to be where they're at. Like they don't really, listen. Oh, I hear it all the time, especially really? from like really like big brands um, or like companies and stuff. And I just find it interesting because if like, you, I mean, you can go back through like my socials and see like how many videos I posted. Like, do you know how many videos you posted on TikTok like in your time? At like 1.5K. Like yeah, so I think, I, I think I posted like 1.2K videos. Yeah. Right over like that's a lot, by the way. That's a a, a, a lot. A I know lot it's like of videos, it's right? short form, but it's over a small period of time. Yeah, really yeah. It's like it's like things. almost two a day for me. Like no, nah, actually, probably more than that. It's like three a day. Yeah, Lord knows. Anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, I feel like there's a lot of this this hate, but that's more just towards me myself. In terms of like st streetwear itself, I actually think it's it's in a nice place because. I feel like we're at a time where it's more accepted to kind of just wear whatever you want. Yeah. It feels a bit more, I feel like a lot of people are growing up a bit. It's kind of like you can wear what you want, especially footwear. Like you're seeing like. Yes, definitely, man. Boots, definitely. Footwear trainers. Crazy. Loafers. I feel like you can get away with anything. Very diverse now. Right? now. Yeah. And I like that. Which and, is amazing. Yeah. Which is amazing. And it means that like shoes, like, like shoes from like three years ago that were going for like thousands. Yeah. For like now that everything's are more accessible and affordable now. It's great. I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's like the that's like my favorite part right now is just going back and buying shoes I can never afford. Yeah, because fine, I can actually do it. You know, so that's the same, mate. Ex exactly the same, man. I I respect that answer. It's it's a shame to hear about the. I, oh, I agree with the toxicity element. It's the. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. I don't really get much much stuff, but everyone gets some yeah. kind of criticism. Well, you're really good at. I, I was actually thinking this on the way. I was like, I never see. I, I don't think I've ever seen you comment on a video in my life. I don't know yeah. if you do. But I've never ever seen you comment. I, there on was anything. one this morning. I saw um, the the rep fella Gilly uh, cover um, uh, Bast Bastin's Bastin. video. Yeah, 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 I saw that and I watched. I watched it all, and obviously, I really wanted to comment, but yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Didn't. And, and, and I respect that because a lot of the t I actually do this a lot, and it's bad. I I, I actually commented on that video um, because he was just being homophobic towards me and Ants, and like, I mean, I don't really understand that because me and Ants like being in a relationship is like an ongoing thing that people have made anyway. Obviously, we're not. Just so to, yeah, for those who don't know, Ants is obviously a, another TikToker and uh, you're one of your best mates. Yeah, Ants Kicks. That's my boy. We live together. Um, that probably doesn't help the cause. No, it <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Ants is staying in your bed tonight. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, he, he was just, I don't want to give him like too much. Yeah, about, but, but yeah, 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 it's like I actually commented on that video like, uh, you're trying to be the hero here by by defending this this guy wearing these reps but then you've been homophobic in the same video towards me. So it just doesn't, you can't yeah. be the hero and then say something like that. But yeah, I'm sure like, I respect that you're able to sort of hold that back. I guess it's when it's not directly about you, it's probably yeah. slightly easier, but you know, sometimes you just really want to defend yourself, but then it's like, you don't want to, you don't want to stoop to that level. So it's, it's a yeah, line, definitely you know? man. It's about, it's about picking the battles and, and, sure. and taking the, I don't know what the phrase is, taking the small wins. I don't know what, what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> picking you your battles anyway is really, really important. Yeah, 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 but sure. yeah, I think, um, yeah, I don't, I didn't really, I just watched the video this morning and was a bit, I watched both of them and we won't talk about it anymore, but like, I was just a bit like, oh, Okay. Yeah. I didn't really know it was an issue. I mean, like, I, I, I mean, between it could, it didn't need to really be covered, but there was no need to put me and Ants in there. Like, no, nothing that, to do. It. And he I follows mean, me as well. Like, he likes all my videos. Yeah, he's. I like the guy. Actually, Gilly's really, really. Sad, yeah, he, he really seems nice like guy. his content. I, I, I used to really not enjoy what he was doing, to be honest. And I was sort of like coming around to the fact that it's like, oh, whatever. Like, he's making a living off reps, whatever. Like, I respect it, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't support reps, but I respect that. Like, he's doing that, you know. And, and then. Yeah, to just see him throwing me in there randomly. It was just like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, People do what they have to do, you know. I understand it. Like, you need to get... Well, so at, well. at the end of the day, bro, you've got to look at it as a compliment to you because yeah, people yeah. want to get your face in the video. Um, and that's that's the way you look at it. That, yeah, that, that, uh, that's what I was telling myself. That's, it's that's obviously not a nice it, thing, right? but ultimately that someone has gone away and thought, oh shit, it's going to make a better video with, with yeah, you, yeah, with yeah, you yeah, in yeah. it, man. No, I, I understand it. It's just... But no, anyway, getting back to the kind of like toxicity of it. Yeah, I completely get it. I think social media has, has made it a lot worse. Um, the whole like, I, I see, I see, especially Instagram, right? And this is why I, I haven't posted on Instagram for a fucking age and I've just started doing it again now, but I never got any, I, I, it hasn't really happened to me. But what I do see on fashion Instagram, I, I'm on Instagram a lot more now, I'm on TikTok, surprisingly. But 
on the reels, I'll go down. I, I see a lot of people do get ready with me and mm -hmm. shit like that and wear yeah. like stuff that I wouldn't wear, but it's it's a little bit more out there. And some of the hate these guys get, man, is is literally insane. Like the top Crazy. comment is so, it's, it's, I don't know how Instagram keep it up. It's like fucked it's up. It's mad. Yeah. And you know what? I used to think that there was more, way more hate on TikTok than Instagram because I just feel like people on TikTok feel like they're a bit more anonymous. Yes. And there's a lot more of these like user 8269 accounts yeah, with yeah, profile yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah. There's not really many of them on Instagram. Uh, but then I what I find is when I post a reel, if it doesn't blow that much, you know, it's got like a few thousand views. It's always very nice, very lovely. And then it hits a certain amount of views and it just gets pushed out to like the haters. I, swear. I see. And then you hit a certain amount of views and bang, Instagram, your, your reel is just flooded with hate. And it's crazy. Sucks, like man. I don't really get, it's never like personal attacks. It's always just like, Parent funded, parent funded, yeah, daddy's money, yeah, all of this. I'm yeah. just like, oh, it's boring. I've heard it a hundred times. Like, um, but yeah, you do get so like the, I feel like the more views it gets, it's just so much more hate just comes flooding in, you know. Yeah, I guess again, that's that's uh, it's one of the downfalls about being successful, man. So it's yeah. again another good problem to have. Well, not that's a problem. True. It's not a problem, but it's a another backhand. Yeah, you're compliment. doing something right, and and yeah. like it's true. Like you know, everyone says it. Like hate never comes from above. You know. Yeah, like, exactly, man. Exactly. I've never. You never ever know someone who's more successful than you hating on you it just doesn't happen yeah. so it is always someone who either wants to be you or just hates themselves yeah <laughs> it's true <laughs> just it's projecting true, it's it true. onto you like you know yeah that happens a lot cool so what else about what what else about fashion that you really like at the moment any brands you're already fucking with anything that's, that's upcoming i'm or even creators we could we could talk about creators let's talk as about, well. okay let's talk about some creators because there's there's a lot there's a lot of emerging creators in the space at the moment which is amazing there's a lot who's your favorite or who have you got your eye on um i like the the noah fella oh um, right he's yeah, cool yeah, yeah. he's really cool um cool. and then there's bastin's cool i like ants as well bastin obviously yourself ants, yeah. but in terms of like smaller ones probably like no disrespect to the noah fella but he's really cool yeah yeah Ryden's cool Ryden's cool um and then who else there's, oh, there's is so it Jamie Kai called Jamie Jamie yeah he does really good videos what, the quality yeah. of the videos are really nice uh, which I, I actually like. I reached out to him to him the other day um, I just had a chat with him he's uh, he seems really chill I feel like he, he me and him have very similar style and I feel like our content's quite similar yeah um, and he's someone I can sort of see like starting to pop off because the quality yeah, of his yeah, videos yeah, yeah. That I feel like compared to no disrespect to other creators but in terms of other smaller creators I feel like the quality of his videos are quite good you know? yeah and yeah. uh, tiktok rewards that quality now i mean that's why mine sure. are uh, how they are like i've just i spent a lot of money trying to get them and a lot of time trying to get them to the to the highest the highest point it's almost like watching a youtube video at times especially with the minute you know it's got to hit yeah man you gotta hit that, hit that minute <laughs> now you gotta hit that minute but what's your rpm like uh i think i was about 20p uh, no sorry 0.20 0.2 yeah, yeah, yeah 0.2 0.2 and then that it, is 20p it, right that is, i think that's 20p is it 20p yeah oh, yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah of course yeah, 20p yeah, 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 yeah. and then it, and it, it goes up and down depending on how viral the video is so if it like i hit one of the videos to like six mil like in uh, early jan and it was about uh air forces that don't crease right oh and, yeah, that was a banger yeah it was a good good vid man like a decent vid you, yeah that's one of the ones i feel like before you posted it you could have predicted that one was gonna do really well yeah that flew man that hit yeah. that hit big numbers that yeah, hit big yeah, yeah. i'm looking over there because meg looks at my account when i i i, I log off and meg uh meg uh oh, yeah all the comments are meg man I, I, I log off i log off about four what, five the replies PM. and stuff yeah everything yeah, really? yeah i log off about four five p.m and just crack on my i kind of go do work until about six and then play playstation between six and eight with my mate my best mate I play warzone for two hours and then usually see meg and that's my day that's but, cute, I, can't remember what I was talking about Wait, but what? I, uh, I need to get a PlayStation, I think. Yeah, you do. Because you do. I find myself in the evenings, I've said it to Ants, i said it to, to Charlie, i said it to all my boys. It, it, as soon as it's dark, I can't really film because the lighting in my flat is so bad. Mm. And I'm in the evenings, you know, I edit a video, it takes me like 20, 30 minutes. And then I just sit on TikTok or, or YouTube for hours. Yeah. And I'm like, instead of rotting my brain with this constant consumerism of content, I could at least be rotting it on like GTA or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't really have, I never have an escape from it. And I feel like, you know, I go to the gym in the yeah, day sometimes. Yeah, it's really sometimes. important, man. I, I feel like I need to, it's probably my next, you my do, girlfriend's going to hate that me. You do, that you're coming up so much. <laughs> you do, especially that you're you're coming up so much because the, the the grind, your views will go up and down and mm. come into grips with that. It's fucking weird. Mate, I reckon. But I still haven't, I still haven't. You know, I still, I still struggle I, I with find it. it hard actually. And, it, and it's sad that, you know, numbers can sort of like dictate yeah, your man, mood, but, but it does happen. And I reckon six months ago when I first moved into my flat, I posted like 20 videos and every single one got over 500K to a mil. And for me, like that's, sick. that's wild, right? That's and really now good. it's like, 
the video is between 50K and some, some will get like half a mil, but it's rare. Yeah, yeah. So coming to terms with the fact that my views will probably never go back to that is a little bit difficult, but it, but it yeah, happens, mate, like, you know? Exactly the same as me. And a lot of my content's dependent on getting weird shit that's releasing. So if nothing's releasing, the documenting that journey is always going to be, the viewership's always going to be lower. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there was a point last year, it was really quite unhealthy. If my if I woke up and a video wasn't on like, like 120, 130, maybe even 150, I would take it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, I, I, it was really bad. I went through that. And now it's sort of like, I think to myself, in two years time, Am I going to care if this exactly. one video didn't yeah, bang exactly. or am I going to go back and watch it and go, oh, like it might not have done the best, but I actually really enjoyed making yeah. that video. So like, I'd rather it be there, you know? Yeah, and people, yeah. I feel like a lot of, it's like, I've, I've been enjoying filming like daily vlogs at the moment. Like Charlie, you, Charlie does them all the time. Yeah. And it's like my favorite video to watch because it's so realistic. Yeah, I like that. And them ones, they don't, they don't do numbers for me, but I feel like, I actually never had so many messages people saying they enjoyed a video more that's than good. just a normal day. It's, all, it's, all, it's the authenticity of it, 100%. man. That's what it is, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. I had to switch mine up because it was getting a little bit too, too, I don't know what it was, but it was just getting a little bit too, not beggy, but not real enough. Yeah, you about. always want to be a bit like Yeah, authentic, it's really you know? important, man. It's really important. I think one thing that worked for me was like kind of whacking in like my health element and my health videos because people love that shit because they, they they obviously see you breaking the barrier of the little bit of a character you play online. Yeah. Even yeah, if yeah, you, yeah. you document like yourself, you're still in a bit of a persona. Uh, but anyway, we were talking about money on TikTok. What's your, what's your yeah. RPM? My, so TikTok have just said we hate everyone apparently because three weeks ago mine was just below 0.9 right it was like 0.86 wow and it was doing wow it was that's doing, really it was fucking doing high. really good i'll be honest like I, I don't mind saying it was probably it was probably an extra like between two and four k a month that's just crazy. just passive just for posting right uh and every single day for the last three weeks it's dropped a p maybe two pennies a day and it's now like 0.54 you know like and, and it's 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 completely demotivated me to be honest with you. yeah i mean it's not i know i shouldn't complain when yours is like 0.2 or yeah, mine's that. fucking terrible and realistically it is a small percentage of the grand scheme of income but it's just a night it was just a nice little bonus a little bit of a reward for like being consistent and it just feels like they've just gone ah uh, we've we paid this guy enough <laughs> yeah See, we're, like, gonna fella, we're, we're gonna pay someone else <laughs> and i'm like uh, it is a beta in it so it's up and down i guess but yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how do you make your money brand deals is that the main number one yeah main main brand deals um obviously got the clothing brand but I, me, and, me and my business partner have said that we're not going to touch anything from that in like for like at least a few years you know you just want to so, keep reinvesting yeah, 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 reinvesting yeah, definitely. like I smart mean, smart we dropped the t-shirts and made a decent amount from that but then the bank account is literally like back to zero now you know it's like we've just invested in so much sampling bulk everything because yeah. that's like a long term that's that's also like it's more of a passion project i don't really care about making loads of money from that really yeah you know, yeah, it'd be yeah nice but i just that's just more of a passion project yeah, you know? yeah i get yeah, that for sure sick man sick what um what was i gonna say i had a really good question yeah it's the G a duo business is like the best business to to, to own bro it's like the for most sure. profitable mate by I, a mile i was actually uh I saw like something on Instagram. It was like solo is hard. And then three people was like, well, but two is like. Yeah, duo business is, is everything yeah, yeah, I've yeah. done has always been duo. Meg again behind the camera, who everyone knows who watches this regularly owns uh, a percentage of kick, well, 50 50 of kick tours with me. It's your sister, right? Well, I, I didn't want to, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't know if I could give it away, but I was like, I was like, maybe I shouldn't give it away directly, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, does it? Um, yeah, and everyone and knows that's like, that's like our like passion, passion project. Just mm. like, just. Yeah, nothing, man. Nothing. How's I, I that think doing? that's great. Because I think that's like, that's one of the things you can tell you, you, you only start doing that because you actually enjoy it. Yeah, you know? it's like, brilliant, mate. M making money or not, like, yeah, I can tell that, that like you have fun doing that. Mm. And that's what, that's what I used to do. That's how I started like getting into all of this is like reselling used shoes. Yeah, I'm shout out to anyone if you remember Worn Souls. Had some. Had some yeah, I, I, I um, someone I, I didn't, I, don't, I never dealt with yourself, but someone who used to work with me um said about that to use yourself free of shoes have quite a big insta page back yeah in the day. it was popping and then they just instagram deleted me for no really? reason yeah but i was gutted i actually i was in a student accommodation at the time and as soon as it got deleted i actually kicked off my wardrobe door so when i moved out of that <laughs> unicom i got some fat bill from the <laughs> landlord like for a new wardrobe i was like oh. damn yeah that was sad but it worked out for the best because i wouldn't have started this i would still be doing that probably you know so yeah 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 i'm glad that like, it all worked out in the end you know Full circle. There's a deeper circle. message there for real. A yeah. deep message. There's yeah, a deeper yeah, yeah. Message. What um what brands are you fucking with at the moment? What brands are you like and what's upcoming in twenty twenty four? Oh, can I swear on here? Yeah, so you want, yeah. Oh, I've been holding it back. Yeah, so you want, Let's man. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um what brands? Okay. Um 
Well, you know, it's a hot. I, I'm I'm loving Acne Studios at the moment. Yeah, mainly just like the blank stuff, especially the denim. Uh, Margiela, I'm liking. The last thing I want is to be that guy that gets a little bit of money and then goes, "Oh, I'm not going to wear streetwear anymore. I'm only going to wear design." They, they had a cool collaboration with Arsenal last year, didn't they? And I know you're an Arsenal fan, right? Oh, the Maharish one, that was sick. Yeah, yeah, that was sick. I actually got sent that as well. Yeah, I saw. I saw that. That was like one of the coolest things. It wasn't direct with Arsenal. It was pro direct, but. That's still like yeah, that is sick. Yeah, that is. That sick. was that was a moment for me. I called my dad and I was like, like he's yeah, that's he's, sick, man. That's a big I was like, moment. Yeah, that's well cool. That's well. That you is really. You might cool, not care man. about all these other deals, but listen, this one's crazy. He was like, no way, and it was paid as well. So that was like that's one nice. Of the best ones I've done. Yeah, that sure. is dope. But what other brands? Um, obviously you got like your main ones. You know, like everyone's on Stussy. Um, yeah, that's 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 it. Really, I can't. There's just I'm I'm enjoying wearing like smaller brands. As yeah, well, I you think know? you do, especially when you're you're getting gifted shit. That's what sure. I found. I like and, and I, I'm loving if there's a person that I like as a person and they've got a brand and I think what they're doing is good. Like it makes me want to wear it more. You know, you got like Ida. Um, you know Jordan. No, he's got his brand called Ida, and that like Bastin wears it all the time. Oh yeah, I've but, seen him. I've seen. I've yeah, seen, yeah, I've yeah. seen the brand. Yeah, I've seen the brand. Yeah, and that's like a cool brand. Um, it's just yeah, like the smaller brands. We've got like Mertra. I wouldn't. I don't even know if you could call that a small brand anymore. That's like yeah, they're big, man. Flying, yeah, they, they, yeah, they've smashed it. Yeah, Aaron's killed it. Yeah, just like smaller, smaller brands like that. You know, um, I just yeah, I feel like less people have it as well. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, less, less rinsed, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sick. We're gonna do a uh, a little segment where we're rating our old outfits. <laughs> so, Aiden, do you want to bring them up? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's over there. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. So, <laughs> we, we've got a combination, and we've got we've got. Uh, uh, some are five foots and some are mine and they're actually very similar not that much this one but some of the, the there is some absolute fucking howlers on here like, do, you know, I mean, do you know what the worst thing about this fit I actually think is the trim yeah well, you wait, wait until you see mine bro it, it only gets worse but uh, so yeah run me through run, run us through it or rock it let's rate them out of 10 all right, all like right. as of now I don't think this is that bad at all what, what, what are you giving out of 10 about like a 7 and a half or an 8 I, I don't it, it it's very safe. It's very safe. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I think it's way yeah. above average. This is it's a pair of uh, it's a pair of Sakai vapor waffles. Yeah, Sakai's on feet. And to then... this day, is one of my favorite shoes. The only problem with this is that they are jaded parachutes, right? Which oh, no one likes jaded London anymore. I right? don't think it's that deep because this this was also like probably over two years ago now, and that's just a Nike Stussy hoodie. You know, it's very safe. The hoodie is definitely too big. Um, I'd go for something way more fitted now. And a little side bag. Little arky side bag. See, this is this is. I, just, I don't think it's bad at all. I, I'm not, again, I'm not that guy for style and aesthetic. No, but that's but, probably good to have that opinion of someone just looking at it without yeah. all these biased opinions. Like, that I, I, like, I, like, like I love fashion, but I'm not yeah. like that guy. I'm not like yourself, like style, style, style. But I, mean, I, I, I don't I think, think it's that is, bad. To this, be honest, this, it, does not, this does not belong in a bad That's the best outfit. one I sent you though, for sure. That, oh, bro, it gets, it gets worse. worse. It gets a lot yeah. worse, guys. It gets a lot worse. Because I know there was a better one, but I know that one's not been picked. <laughs> Actually, this one's not that bad either. Yeah, bro. Wait, what the bro? What the fuck is this? This is, this is gonna do me. This is doing me dirty. These that, are good outfits, man. If I wore these now, I'd be well happy. I like. It's, it's just the trim again for me in this one. But um, some shades. That's a, a Carhartt jacket. Nice. And then some Carhartt. That this was when I was full, like you know, carpenter vibes, man. Carhartt everywhere. Yeah. But and then they're actually the Joe Fresh Goods nine nine threes, which I loved. Right. I bought every color, but I bought them all in the wrong size. They were all way too big for me. <laughs> so I just sold them and never bothered to buy them again. But uh, so we, I, I'm giving this one another eight. I mean, this is fine. Yeah, I'll give that an eight. I, I, don't, I don't think that's calm. Yeah, Keys on the belt, extra points. Yeah. <laughs> now this is, this, this, this is where it probably starts to go down a little bit. Mate, I look like the guy you call if your car breaks down on the M25. <laughs> it's bad, I'll be honest. It is bad. Service, mate. <laughs> well, I, I think the... Yeah, what we got? We got are they jeans or are they? They are car, skinny cargos. Do you know a brand? Uh, I think it's called like Marche Noir. It's like M plus RC. Yes, like yes, that. yes, yes, so yes. Yeah, that the, used to be they, like, they were popping. Yeah, bro. I don't really know what happened to them. I've not heard anything out of them in a minute, right? But it was those I bought them. I think they were fake. Yeah, they have right? the uh, they have the oh shit me they have the embroidery on the uh, yeah on the pocket the pocket yeah 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 so they're the um, the basement Manchester Air Max nineties nice. And then uh, just a, a North Face. Matching piece. the laces with the uh, with the bold North Face. Bad. I actually still don't hate those Air Max, to be honest. Like the basement. Oh, yeah, they're is quite fine, cool. man. They're fine. It's just a, the it's, rest of the fit is bad. This yeah. is not you now. Like this is not, this is, I reckon I could, get, I could probably get away with wearing that, but you definitely No, I don't now. think even you could get away with wearing that. Nah. Honest. Nah, 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 nah. That's bad. <laughs> it's the trim again. I look like a Lego character. <laughs> it's bad. All right, swiftly. Wait, hang on. What are we rating? What are we rating it? 
I give that one a, a four, maybe. I see the, I, Only I, for the shoes, and even there, not they're not great. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Sit. Uh, no, five and five point five. Five. Yeah, just for above color, average. color coordination. Yeah, is, is just there. above average. It's, it's just not, too it's much. Not, it's not the worst. Oh fuck! Now, this is this is prime. This, it, this is a howler. This is what remember this at twenty eighteen? You reckon? Because these, 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 probably these, it, it was these, whenever that hoodie came out. They released like, in December twenty eighteen, I think. So it was either then or like. I'm pretty sure they released. Do you know the worst part? I found out like a few weeks later that hoodie was fake as well. Really? Like, I, paid, I paid like I think I paid like three fifty for wow. it. Wow, fake! But it's a nice I mean, hoodie. You know what? It's it's one of the better bo the bogo. Uh, it's not bad. Bogo is it? colors. The they have a grey on the mm. yellow or the the orange. I don't know. But, but matching it with <laughs> with the beanie and then the jeans, crazy. The, the wave runners the ripped skinny jeans and the wave the the wave runners are, are very very valid. I think they're still valid now. I'd still oh, wear for them. sure. But Super. obviously, the I'm not into proportions. But if you were, you probably hate this because they're a bulky <laughs> shoe with skinny jeans, right? <laughs> the way things have changed though, it used to be like oversized top, skinny jeans, and now it's like smaller top. Baggy yeah, yeah, jeans, yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just cycles, man. But that's that's bad, though. If that ever comes back into fashion, like we say this, right? But it was in fashion at some point, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. To yeah. me, right now, I'm just sitting here thinking, how on earth is that ever going to come back into fashion? But somehow, <laughs> it probably will. If, 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 it will, bro. And when it does, bro, I'm going to be balling, man. I got so much of this old hypey <laughs> shit in my in my wardrobe. Bro, he's I'm going to be the skinnies first, on deck. I'm going to be the first to pop. Bro, I've got the, the skinniest, the skinniest off white jeans ever. Of their I've, I've literally reduced them like 30 pound on my Depop like about like six months ago and no one wants them. Mate, they, take, take them off and hold them for a few years. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be, they'd be bro, they're, 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 but they're like, they're like the spray on ones, right? They're bad. Yeah, Are they're they real bad. No, 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 no. Oh. They're just like the tight Did you buy ones. them for yourself or what? Uh, no, I, yeah, but I thought they were baggy. Oh, but they're not. I thought they were baggy. I just bought them Depop for like 130 quid. But Fair anyway. Enough. That one's bad. That, that, that's what are like, you rating it? That, that's a, that's a, that's a one. A one. Okay. Ah, no. no that, that is a one. The jeans alone, you can't, you could pen yeah, nothing the, uh, with that and save it. Everything else, uh, maybe the hat, hat and the jeans are a little sus. <laughs> and the, the, the face, the face is, uh, bro, I look angry. That you do look very pissed. <laughs> I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go three and a half. Okay. That, that's generous. Yeah. I, it, there's worse. Not uh, is, so much of you, there? but come on, go on, Aiden. Let's go. What we got? See, this is this is fucking amazing. Do you, know this what, one. Do, do you know what that that is actually? That's a a t shirt I got from TK Maxx. That it was like a Ralphie t shirt. I bought it for like five quid from TK Maxx, and and I and I saw it and I thought, oh my god, I got the best <laughs> idea. In the world. And that that is so what this happened. has been strategically calculated. Yeah, that that is what came of it, and uh, that was in my garden, bro. That was so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got garden ones on here. I don't know why. What's the thing with a fucking garden? But. Uh, Easy yeah. fit picks, man. Yeah. This, this, these, this is these are hype beast fit picks, man, from back in the day. And and at one point, like you said, these were it. Yeah, these I were it, man. You were fucking cool. I was that could, guy. I yeah, was you that you guy. were fucking cool if you had a Supreme Box logo and sure. matching it with the hat back in the day. Fake or not? No, no, yeah. no one knew. <laughs> uh, rating. You can't see the whole fit. Yeah, that uh, two. two. Just because you can't see the jeans this time. Yeah, it was probably the same. Fit. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go three. <laughs> You're too generous, man. Now this this <laughs> again, prime, prime. But you know what? Fitbit, Fitbit. I, I was on that. I've been on Real Street for a minute now. This is like f maybe four or five years ago. Probably five, maybe even longer. Maybe six years ago. Whenever that bag released, that was twenty. I think it was twenty seventeen. Was it? Wow. I think so. Yeah. I mean that. That's a Stussy Real Street hoodie as well. And if well, I that'd had, be that'd be very valid now. May I sold it for maybe one sixty? And what's that like, worth now? Loads. I don't know. You can't find them. Like wow. people don't even think it's like real. Yeah. Like that. That, that hoodie is like a myth. Really? They came up with so the cap it was recently. A, so it was legit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Damn. it I got it from um, a retailer. I can't remember. Uh, somewhere in America. But So you got the got the, got the the skinny cargoes on again. The Supreme North Face bag. And I've got some, um, the brown Carhartt Air Force Ones on. Have you oh, seen those? Nice. With the, nice. the Carhartt logo on the tongue. Yes, yes, yes. It, it, if I was wearing other trousers, that fit, I think, would actually That would be bad. valid now. And the bag's not bad. Yeah, it's just too much with the hoodie. Though, it is. It, 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 again, it's like hype beast fit pick. Two different camos, but I'll give that a six. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go six and a half. Yeah. Six and a half. I don't think it's that bad. Cool. What we got? Ah, uh, yes, ah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you were this talking about it. this before. This is it. This is my favorite one, man. Do you know what? I, I actually think I have the video as well. I filmed it in slow motion. Oh my God. Me bro. pouring it onto the shoe. Did you ever used to own any of the cargoes? I feel every no, one. No, no, no. Do you know what? I bought them and I wore them religiously for like a year, bro. I swear, like that was it for me. I, everyone was like, oh my God, they're so sick. Like, are they just, are they just the Supreme 98s or just a the normal one? They're the Supreme 98s. Oh, they... wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't think they are. I think it's a GR. I think. 
Okay, because they they they, they have they a similar released, pair, but it's grey and red, right? Yeah, they released. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think so. there's, there's 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 a couple of colorways, and but they do look very similar to like just normal ones as well. Do you know what? I also there was another photo I didn't send you right, which is this exact fit. But I've got. Do you remember the Supreme Padlock, the big one? Yes. I had yes, that around my yes. neck with like just a, a bike chain, and I was wearing it like a necklace. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to send you that so you can put it over. Yeah, yeah well, it that's, got to, that's got to go in, man. That's quality, that. Oh, bro. Again, this isn't like a, a, a... You can't see the whole fit, but... You don't need to. It's, it's this, this is... Yeah, this is... Even I wouldn't have done that, I'm I giving this think, a 10, back though, in the day. Just because it's so iconic. It is yeah. iconic. This it represents iconic. a period of time in itself. Well, I'm not going to... Uh, what are you rating it? I'm giving it a 10. A 10? Okay, right, I'm, I'm agreeing. I'm not <laughs> pissing off my guest. Right, we go, we go. <laughs> Oh, the real oh, tree this, again. This, yeah. see, you can see the see the kicks this time. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, right? F as far as like location and fit, you ahead of your time, bro. Ahead of your time. It's, it's, I think this one's good. Shout out to my dad. He, we went for a walk, and I was like, "Hold on, let me switch the fit quick." And he, he was I mean, like, if, I, "If I did that in front of my dad, he would kick the shit out of me." <laughs> I think he, he was, was like, I mean, "There was me. no benefit for me doing this at the time." Yeah, it was just, it was just like fun. So he was like, "What on <laughs> earth are you doing?" And I was like, "Listen, mate, one day, <laughs> one day it's, I'm gonna be pop. I'll make a career out of this shit." Yeah, just wait. But yeah. let's, we've already rated that one, so next one. And again there, same one, same one. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is, this is oh, fuck it. We've also got some wave runners. Do you know what it is? It's the flash as well. Yeah, it's just so embarrassing. I know my mum watches these podcasts. She's going to be Jack, what the fuck were you doing at uni, man? This is This is, this why is a you, uni? Yeah, this is my, my uni accommodation. What's his first year? Yeah. It's given first year. Uh, uh, Supreme Bogo, Red Box logo, uh, wave runners and skinny jeans. <sighs> Do you know what? Like, the, it's not that bad. It's, it, it, I mean, it's, it's not. It's At the shit. time, it would have been good. You know, it's hard to say. But the box logo does look a bit too big. Not, it is way big. It was way too big. What size is that? Probably XL. No, I would have gone a large. I just, over, I used to, think, I used to, the same like what you said yeah, earlier. Everything was oversized, was man. Yeah. And I was skinny as skinny as hell. And I, I, I don't think this is that bad. Though. Do you know the only thing that would annoy me is that wave runners obviously have orange on them. Yeah. And orange with the red would just, yeah. even though it's so subtle, that would just piss me off. Yeah. See, but, I. I Bro, who gives a fun? Huh? You're the only guy with, with the bogo, you know. So what are you? What like are you a, rating it? I think it's. I'll go for a for a six. I I I think we can we can we can agree on five. I think five. Yeah. It's not because it, it's it's if we go like I think it's averagely shit. <laughs> I think it's average. If ten bad. was a bit shit and zero was very shit, it's a five. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, that's cool. Good. Right, let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got Will with the uh, Supreme CDG bogo. We went uh, up. You know what? I, that I still think to this day that that's actually quite a valid box logo. Yeah, that one's sick, I man. I think it's quite cool. Yeah. Will, Will's the got Polka the uh, CDG one's cool. The Skep the ninety sevens on, I think, with the Tropicana Ooh. Flex. Uh, bro, if, if you're not if you're listening to this podcast, I feel sorry for you because you're not seeing these absolutely fucking. Well, no, you're actually lucky because you're not seeing these fucking terrible outfits. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I'm wearing half the jacket. Yeah, I was going to say. North, I don't know what I'm doing there. You've definitely done that just so you can see the bogo. Right? Yeah. What shoes yeah. are they? They like blazers or something. I can't remember. I think sell. they're just Air Forces. Oh, okay. I think they're just Air Forces. Skinny jeans, the freshest wristband is on. And <laughs> oh. uh, the, the, the my my whole rent went on that box logo, as you can see, because I wasn't wearing anything <laughs> else. Student so. loan got spent. Uh oh, this cap's it. valid, I think. Yeah. And what, what puffer is it? Supreme or? No, no, just a, a pink North Face. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll it was very fucking bold, mate. The I'm pink with lie. the red, it's, it's a bit much for me. Yeah, it's. Uh, this one's worse than the last one, actually, I think. I think the pose is, is absolutely fucking disgusting. Your boy's putting disgusting. that shit on, though, I'll be honest. Like, that's not that, that's not that bad. It's, it's not It's not that bad, but it's just cringe. Where was this taken? In, like, a uni lecture or something? No, it was just this. Fuck, no, this was a... Uh, it's like a commons. It was like, it was like a common room at the top of the uni, yeah. Oh, so it was at uni. Like uni? Yeah, uni it was at uni. Me. Yeah, valid. Ah, uh, nah, I'll give this a three, man. This is so... I'm, I'm going five again, but that red and pink combo, it's crazy. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take note. <laughs> what we got? Oh, again, fuck it up. Right? This <laughs> is, this is even fuck. Oh, this is so bad. Will, I'm so sorry, okay, mate, if you're yeah, watching bro, this. Yeah, you've been put on blast for no reason. That Look, hoodie. Will, Will's wearing like knockoff like tech fleece joggers. Is that what it is? I thought they were grey jeans. Yo, that hoodie is so big. Yeah, the hoodie's <laughs> massive. And it, the worst thing is it's mine. And I was like to him, Will, just wear this for a pitch, man. It's going to look fucking sick. Do you know sick. what though? Yeah, I, I, for me, it used to be, it doesn't matter what size I can get in anything. It, if I can get cheaper and it doesn't fit, I'm buying it cheaper. Yeah. Like I used to, I used to know Especially a guy. Especially back then, yeah. 100%. I used to know a guy, I was like, oh, what shoe size are you? He used to say a size 7 to 12, depending on how cheap he's the, the cheapest size. But he used to wear like triple insole, quadruple sock in like a size 12, but really he had like size 8 feet. <laughs> uh, he would just wear anything. It didn't matter if it fit, just just to wear it if it was cheaper. Yeah, size. that's crazy, That is man. crazy. Like, yeah, so this is shit again, first. though. Just yeah, that's cool. Scroll, scroll. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, this is wholesome. This is this is hype beast era in a fucking uh, nutshell. You know what? That's the best one so far, though, I think. What, the, the blue tints... 
the, oh, guest, oh. the ASAP and guest jeans sweatshirt. I don't know what that. Do you know I what? was just normal guest jeans one. The the ASAP guest stuff I actually really liked. The yeah, it was striped, sick. I yeah, had the grey striped t shirt. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, I had the I had the red one. I had all of them. I literally had so many fucking colours. They were sick. One one was stolen from a female. Yeah, female took it. Uh, not not the current one. Oh. Um, yeah, bringing then, up exes, are we? Yeah, well, uh, somehow uh, I don't know how, but uh, yeah, there was there were others. Um, it was Dave's, Dave's, Dave's. You wouldn't have known. No, I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. And on that note, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Extra points anyway. for the dog. Is that your dog? Yeah, Dion. Cute. Big up Dion. Big up Dion for real. Cap, cap, but ah, uh? <laughs> it would have been back in the day. Yeah, really. Well, that was back in the day. That was a while ago, like years ago, but... oh Yeah, nah, still. Nah, he's still active on Hinge, for sure. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a secret <laughs> burner account. Um, yeah. Uh, this is seven for me. Oh, this is, this is fucking seven. great. You've got to come on here more. If I put this out on the internet, it would have got rinsed. I no, I don't think, but obviously, like, you have to... You know, it's relative, right? Like, at the yeah, time... Yeah, yeah, those, yeah. Those trousers look incredibly tight, yeah. Yes. But I'm comparing this to the others now. The colours aren't as bad. You know, it kind of works. Yeah, and just sitting down, light, so yeah. you can't see how bad the proportions are. I assume they would have been terrible, right? But you can't tell. So <laughs> yeah, the, the hoodie, the hoodie, the sweatshirt would have been fucking massive. Yeah, like and covering crotch. Getting the getting the Kappa branded the in. Kappa bro. It, was, it was all about the branding back then. That's yeah. true. Everything had to have a logo. Yeah. I think this is. I think this is a six. Yeah, I think it's the best one. Cool. And the dogs are cute, you know. Cute oh, dog. here we go. Here we go. Gladiel. Here we go. Right, this is Woo. this is serious. Do you know what? Fucking love Ultra Boost to this day, man. I still wear mine to the gym. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. one of most, them. one of honestly ama amazing so shoes, man. The, man. the Oreos, my 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 friend had one pair of legit ones after he bought a fake pair <laughs> from from like from like at, at cheap Adidas shoes dot com or some shit. Um, and then you get yeah, the Stony, getting the badge in. But the worst thing about this is the trousers. Remember though, like the the, the they were like. I don't know what the fuck you would call them. They're like kind of like work trousers, like like office trousers, but they would be like cut oh, super. Like you the cropped, wear, they're like cropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they yeah. would be cropped like like here, and then for some reason I had I had like loads of checked pattern ones. I bet you had yeah, a few of them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, you get them from like River Island. And yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It was like Top Man Essential. Uh, yeah, yeah was, Top Man or River Island, you they'd always have them, and they were like really elasticated, and I like. Yes. But, yeah. 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 But that, I, this fits. I actually still think this is the best one as well. Everyone's got better. I, I think. I think pairing the ultra boost with a with a trousers is a bit of a mad one, but it is um, mad because it's very smart and then very casual. casual but, but it's just hype, 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 bro. Bit of sun in your eyes, golden hour. I yeah, like it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Extra points uh, for the pendant as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it a seven. Okay, that's very generous. I'll like. give. I'll give this one a six. I don't think it's terrible, honestly. Oh, <laughs> here we go. This, this is this is prime. That doesn't even look. Is that you? Yes. You look mega tanned. Yeah, I, 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 don't, know what, I don't know what was going on with me, bro. But uh, this is like peak skinny jean era. Yeezy 2017. Oh, this one, so, gone to Camden to get some kind of candid shots. Urban Outfitters hoodie or something. This one's bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's bad. Yeah. Uh, what are the shoes? 350s? Yeah, creams, creams, man. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like... Back then, they were so sick. I mean, they're still sick now, but... Yeah, yeah. The, it's, a, it's, it's not a bad shoe. The shoe's great. Oh, yeah, the, the shoes trousers. are okay. Everything else is pretty pretty shocking. Uh, this one's a four for me. Yeah, I mean, that's generous, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'll probably go I'll probably go two. Two? <laughs> I think if I... I yeah, I, I put I put a... Uh, this was in the video that I everyone started calling me Fruity for, and it was Fruity. it was because, uh, because how tight the jeans were. I look like I'm literally wearing tights. To be fair, they, they do kind of look like like a like an underlayer. Yeah, like they do. They do. They look like like long jeans. If you still had them, they'd be great for like winter. Wear them <laughs> under your cargoes. Sure. Yeah. All right. Two out of the, two out of ten on that. Uh, zero. Zero. Move yeah. on. Yeah. This is no. Yeah, that's, no. That's, that's, this, right, we've got the this. three month shipping time on on antisocial. Yeah. Is crazy. This is <laughs> this is the worst fit. Do you know I've what? Ever worn in my entire life. It's the tuck into socks. I used to do the same thing. I had a pair of five hundreds and I'd wear them with the Calabasas socks. Yes. Which I'm oh pretty sure God, were man. fake at the time. But I used to tuck my tuck my trousers oh into them. Oh my God. Like, what what joggers today? Like Palace. Adidas, Palace, Palace, Palace Adidas. Yeah. Palidas, man. The palette. Ah. Oh. Do they you know were, what? they were, I used to, they were my friends. I used to beg him all the time at uni to wear them. Oh, they, they weren't even yours? Sick. Nah, they were so cool. And what's that, an antisocial zipper? Yeah, the same, the same, the, the truck, like an antisocial like, truck you know jacket or some yeah, shit. At the time, if you, all you had to do was tie an off-white belt around you and you'd have been like that guy. Bro, that was, that was, I, that is like that guy fit from like 2016, 2017, yeah. man. The worrying thing is I think this would have been, that would have been late 2017. <sighs> so when the era was, no, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't because the blue tints didn't release and it would have been uh, 2018. They came out on my... So I think they released 2018. They didn't? released on my 18th birthday, day before. Uh, 17th December they dropped, I think. What, 20? 
whenever I was 18. 2017, I reckon. That must have been 2017. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have been rocking that 2019, but... <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. But no, no, if we're talking now, that that's a one out of 10 fit. Yeah, I, I think, that's, the the time, I think that's, that's arguably the worst thing I've ever worn in my life. Yeah, it's bad, I'll be honest. I'm not even going to rate it, it's that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. What's the joggers? Converse. Converse, Air Forces, and that Urban Outfits hoodie again. This isn't, I don't think this is the worst thing in the world. How old are you in this picture? Uh, I would have been 17, probably. I look all right. You know, I look quite good. I've had a bit of a down glow or glow down. I, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you look, yeah, you look quite nice. Thank you. Thank you. Don't yeah. want to say anything too outrageous. Yeah, Antonio won't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no this is this is this isn't this, great, this is a this is a five for me i'll take that fuck it's me just, yeah just, it's just very like it's just you know it's just nothing really interesting yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I don't weird trousers that. and just average hoodie five out of ten fine yeah it's just not there's not a lot to it you know ah oh, yes nan's oh, bedroom what a what a selfie pic mate. wait are you wearing a life jacket what do you mean wait, there's a, it's a hoodie oh it's just red because from was... here <laughs> it looks half black half red <laughs> But is it just red? Yeah, the hoodie's red and the t-shirts will be like long sleeve black supreme. Oh. But this was, uh, the reason I put this one in was because it was like peak champion era. The, bro, the cha- if, if you weren't around for the champion supreme collabs. Yeah. Um, when they did that, do you remember the off-white champion collab yeah. as well? Oh, they had like that cropped hoodie. That's when I first started, well, I first saw men wearing like cropped stuff. And at the time I was mm. clowning it. I was like, why are you doing that? And obviously now it's like. That was one of my favorite hoodies of all time, man. It was I so really sick. like when they put the size tag on yeah, it, actually. Yeah, Unless yeah. you're a size small, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, you're rocking yeah. medium, right? So it's calm. <laughs> I love that t-shirt, bro. I would buy it back in a minute. Just not for to wear now, but just for nostalgia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know the branding on the arm, but I don't think this is terrible. The yeah, hair is... Yeah, you know what? This is when the hair was was, was at its worst. Oof. It's looking like... It's not looking... Yeah, I, I, I really don't like any sort of sleeve branding or embroidery. Mm. I think sleeves should be left... Maybe like a little embroidery on the cuff or something. But like, this, when like you printed, said, this is when like off white was popping, so everyone had that kind oh, of like long sleeve brand. I, I kind of I did used to love that. I just couldn't afford it, but I can't even see the full fit. But I give this like a seven for nostalgia. Okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll bat that. I'll bat that. I'll go maybe six, yeah. seven. Ah, uh, this, this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this right. is the. This is the trim. <laughs> this is the, the. There's no fade. It's just this was yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I'll tell you about this. I was. I, I went to the bar, but I got really like fine hair, right? Yeah. So yeah, in yeah. order, this is when the fade just started really popping, right? Right. So I went to the barber and I was like, bro, can I have a kind of a fade, right? My village barbers, because my normal barber was away, and my old my normal barber always told told me like, bro, you, you don't go to the normal like like a uh, village barbers or like wherever because your hair's so fucking weird. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. But I went anyway because I was like, I mean, I was going out the night that night. I was like going big, big prism or something. Last minute trim. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get a 15 pound haircut. So I walked up to the village and he just kept, I was sat there in the chair and he just kept fading it and fading it. You know how they go up and down. Yeah. And yeah. Down. Like it, they start all right and yeah. there's a bit of a fade there and then it just, it keeps going up yep. and up and, 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 and he then there's nothing left. That's what happened. He couldn't <laughs> fade it, bro. He, he could not fade it. And and I, he, was like, he was like, wow, she's coming on really, really fucking well. And I was like, oh, this is going to be fucking sick. <laughs> and I, uh, and I, I, I went contacts right so i put my glasses back on at the time honest to god i nearly fainted i got, I got heart palpitations did you go out that night or no i'd have stayed at home oh, i can't remember what i did but i, I was We're too beating. emotionally wrecked but and then the fucking the work and then you got the fucking double badge you know what right i've got to say this is the best one so far um and that's not even a joke i, I to this that vest is so sick yeah i still amazing, think this, yeah. the supreme stone island vest yeah, it's clean. You know that the like the orangey, the coloured one. Yeah, like the that camo. one is probably that. What the orangey one, oh, the, or, well, the, the the brown orange one's probably better. Um, but that that fit, like I mean, don't get me wrong, double badge, like you, you, it's it's not it's not it, you know. But this is the best one. This is an eight for me. I but I love that vest so much. Yeah, I think it's really clean. But the trim is the word. The and and the but trim. what you can't see is that the jump is really really oversized. If you look at the neckline, oh, it looks long. Look, look at it. Yeah, look at the neck. Man. It was one of them. It was like, oh, it was cheap. Don't fit. Fuck yeah, exactly. Anyway. <laughs> and it was one. It just came like because now it's like a high crew neck's really in, right? But back then, yeah. Well, I am back then. It was probably in as well. Do you know what? Like, I'm actually enjoying a, a looser neck at the moment. Really? Well, as long as you have got a t-shirt underneath, I don't think it's that deep having yeah. a, a looser neck. But but you're you're you're, you're like really you're tight. built all right. I'm built like a stick, so I can't ha- I can't have a. <laughs> yeah, but you you've also you're also like you have height. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. But yeah, I can't rock a loose neck, and the loose neck looks really goofy there. So yeah, no, there it's a bit extreme. The, the camera does me does me well in terms of the fit. So no, I, I like this one. It's an eight for me. Okay, for I, I I wouldn't give it an eight, but I'll probably go six. But because of the, because the trim, of the because man. of the cargo vest, the trim is so bad. yeah. The, the, the trim is is. <laughs> what, like, what was you say it was? 
I'd love to say the name, but like, what type of barbers was it? Like, like just like a village, just a normal barber, like a normal oh, village, yeah, in my, yeah. like normal barbers in my village. And I went up there, and I was like, "This is fucking." I think you went wrong at village. I'll be honest. Yeah, that's rare. But it was just the, the guy was really nice, but I just didn't have the balls to tell him it was shit. Yeah, would you? How much did you pay? Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen quid. I just couldn't tell him. Man. It has to like, happen, man. You know what? At the end of the day, like going to a new barber's is always scary, and they're never going to get it right. But it's when you have to pay, and and they've just fucked your hair up. It's like. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not yeah. good. Anyway, what else before we wrap up? What else can we expect from from Five Foot in the near future? What's happening, man? What's happening? Uh, bit of, get a bit of promo in. Let's let's run some promos. To be honest with you, just same old content, documenting my fashion journey, streetwear, fashion, yeah, yeah, yeah. clothing brand, fleece releases. Will this come out before Friday? No. When's It'll it be dropping? Monday, mate? Next Monday. Monday. Fleece already dropped and it already sold out. So I'm sorry about that. How many can you? Well, you have to. I don't, okay, don't tell me a son, but I'm curious to know how many you've got. Units. Less than a hundred. Literally. So it's gonna no. be quick. I, I know, how many hoodies did you sell? Because uh, it looked like it did quite well. Three, four hundred, I think. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, that's good. Yeah, mate. The money was amazing. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That's mental. But, but I did it with the guys who made the, the childish merch and they do. Oh, some, I was going to say, you must like. I was so they're, they're, they are honest to God, mate. They are fucking amazing. Yeah. They are so, yeah. so good, man. They're such nice guys. Made a, made a good lump of money from it. Again, it's all going back into like making more shit. But, that's but it, was in, it was an interesting project for me. Yeah, because it was so just like, you know, there, there was no like build up it was there's just no like, oh, instagram I'm, it's nothing i'm dropping yeah I was, I was i was trying to find it on instagram there was two was videos like, that was it I'm dropping one, one video like Sick. saying it's happening two videos uh second video showing it off that that's the it. thing man that's that, that's like crazy and it like the power of social media is crazy yeah man, man. And, and support from your community as well yeah, it was yeah amazing yeah. No. And, but, but it was cheap it was cheap it was i think we, what was retail what was retail 50 55 yeah that's very, and that that's was and for, for a uk yeah. based manufacturer i was that made was, in the uk as well yeah yeah and, yeah that, that's like extremely the margins yeah. were literally like i mean yeah. I, like I, I made good money on it considering the margins were so small yeah yeah. the yeah, profit yeah, i was yeah. making cost was, in the we uk like, really poor. it's crazy right yeah um i've tried like a couple uk manufacturers and it's like for, for the amount i was paying i was like oh my god like this is just yeah 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 wild but it's, it is like it's obviously you know that it, it's it's like ethical so it's good yeah 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 100 yeah, yeah. and also all, yeah the quality was was good and it's, it's less hassle let's be honest it's less hassle yeah, more yeah money, but... shipping times and everything like... but yeah if you want to do it proper you do need to go overseas because yeah, you've got yeah. budgets and i might like the budget a lot more not, not necessarily tighter but finer and you uh, yeah it's no i'm anyway I'm that's often, crazy but... three four hundred i was not expecting that I was, I, I, my guess was around 150 but that's like that's yeah crazy. we did, did did really well man i think we're was gonna... it a pre-order or was it just you had stock uh, it just had stock, yeah, it had stock, and then they they and then they had to print more because we we sold out. Yeah, I think we initially we had two hundred, they sold out, and then we sold another like hundred and fifty or something. I so mean, they were they were the delayed was the like second proper batch. quick. Like, yeah, but that's what they do. Like it's all they do, print, and then like they had all the blanks and shit. It was sick, sick. really, really that's, good, that's man. Sick, man. They're that's amazing crazy. guys. They're so sick. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, what else is happening? So you got the, the, yeah, brand the, the brand is the main thing I'm pushing right now. We've got like you got to get that going. So many products in the works. Like this that's summer, gonna fly. Yeah, summer's gonna be crazy. I want to say like we got. I don't. I don't really want to say it because people. But just yeah, watch out for the brand Experiment Five. Um, yeah, other than that, it's just the same old. To be honest, like same just old shit. Keep pushing the brand. Working with brands, doing what I love. What's your? Shopping. We will wrap up that in a sec. But what is your? Before we go, what's your favorite brand you worked with? Oh, can you can you can you throw some shade as well? Any you really don't like? Any you haven't? Because haven't, I can. There's a few I haven't. Got oh, have you have you thrown shade at some before? Uh, or, or would you? Uh, uh, what, what's I like the brand? Really that you've worked with that you've either found just really difficult or you know like maybe a bit of disrespect anything like that well the one i'll go with like starting with good so the one i love is like jd they are fucking oh, I amazing was, i was gonna say they are in terms of phenomenal. paying the people everything like they are best brand ever one, 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 of, one of the best brands they're like and top three for me for yeah, sure jd mlb major league baseball they're amazing as they well they seem sick yeah yeah, yeah they're yeah. so so cool yeah they need to, they need to uh, contact bad me. experiences that i can mention meg anything <laughs> to run everything by you just in case I, I get in trouble but you, it's hard because you don't want to burn any bridges but there are some I've worked with uh, now, like. some some smaller brands what have I've said that I, uh, some smaller brands that have just sent me shit and then are like where's the video I'm like well you haven't specified I'm doing a video I'm not yeah, doing a video yeah, yeah. And like, I thought it was gifted bro people, like, people don't realise that like you actually have to pay for stuff I can't, I can't, I can't put it on my main account no, that's no, not no, what no. I, that's, that's not my my thing anyway unless you're like absolutely love it and it's yeah like, oh yeah God, unless they've it's sent fucking... me like this two thousand pounds worth of stuff it's yeah like, and oh, it like what? lights up and shit and it does crazy <laughs> shit that would work but yeah yeah to be honest i think best brands 
I, I love working with IKEA. It was really good. Uh, that's and that cool. was a really cool that's one. That's a cool one. Like, you can't go in any house in the UK and there's not something from IKEA in there. Yeah, so that huge, was really man. Cool. That's huge. And that was, that was my, my manager called me and she was like, oh, but I thought that deal was done because they reached out to me privately. I thought that, that one's, that one's, that's not happening. Uh, and then she phoned me and I was eating breakfast and she was like, oh, by the way, this one's come through. And I was like, what? I thought it was over, but she took over without, like, she just, she, she didn't want to get my hopes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my God, like. I just, that one was was lit for me and then yeah JD are amazing to work with yeah they're great they're um, great Air Up are actually really good as well have you done any work no but I, I know a lot of my mates have man and they they, they pay really I see, quick I think Jack did Air Up no yeah did I he? think I think loads of people have everyone, done it, yeah, they, they, they use everyone but yeah they're, they're like really relaxed yeah, what the fuck well. I don't know why I've done it Air Up bro Mate, imagine hit me up man please little Air Up bottles sitting right here <laughs> that would be ideal yeah no they're really good um, and they're very relaxed about it sort of like uh, everything they're, they're like just make it really organic like, yeah yeah no yeah yeah specific stuff but i can't really think of a brand that well i can but not not that i'd want to say because you never know like it might things change you know? yeah yeah but okay there's, there's just a lot of yes right good chilling all good yeah bro thank you so much it's been an absolute pleasure man pleasure man, man. Uh, uh, i really is, enjoyed it really good conversation actually. it's my first podcast ever yeah bro probably you the will... last one as well you're not, not, no, why, no. why, why? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just like, uh, it's, it, it, it's one of the things like, what else can I go on a podcast and say that I haven't? Yeah, you have to probably have to go on quite like a niche podcast yeah. like this. But mate, it's been a pleasure, I'm man. Thank you so much. No, you have to come back again. Thank you for having me. We do a season two or something and. Uh, 100%. Yeah. So follow follow uh, Five Foot Socials. Again, no government name can be provided <laughs> at this time. Uh, he's killing it on TikTok, Insta, all the socials. Stay tuned for the brand. And yeah. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. The Hype Report, Hype Report drops Monday, 6 p.m. every single week. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, uh, chuck the little, little heart, a little like. And if uh, you're on YouTube, subscribe, like, all that stuff. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.